Hello everyone. Uh, in this tutorial, we learn how to create uh, tree maps in Python using Plotly. So let's get started. We'll be creating these tree maps in eight steps that are mentioned here. So let us import the libraries first. We'll use two libraries here: Pandas to handle the data frames and Plotly to create our plots. And as you would know, that tree maps are used to uh, represent uh, populations across various uh, sectors. And now these sectors may have their own independent hierarchies as well. So what I'll do here is, so here the data frame I've used uh, to uh, illustrate how to create a tree maps uh, is the following. It has three uh, columns, which are gender, uh, count, and section. And then uh, uh, this count can actually be taken as population. We have gender, section, and population. and uh, we have population distributed across your gender and section. So let us try and to plot this uh, as a tree map. So, uh, with respect to creating a basic tree map, we only need uh, three things here. The data frame that is uh, that has our data. And then we have path which will contain our categorical variables. Then we have uh, population which is a numerical column which we want to uh, show here. So once so we once we enter these attributes and then we uh, hit enter, so this uh, very basic uh, tree map will be plotted. And there's a special feature uh, regarding tree maps in Plotly is you can uh, select a particular section. For example, here we have uh, A, B, C, D, E. So if we click on a particular section which is D, so it will tell like what is the distribution of females and males in this uh, section D. Okay. Uh, so uh, going ahead, uh, let, let us adjust the uh, chart size uh, of our uh, tree map. We can do that by simply uh, adding these two attributes, which are width and height. So as you can see that I've added them here and then uh, replotted the chart. And you can see now, okay, it's in, in more of a square shape right now. Earlier it was distributed uh, like a rectangle. So let us go ahead and uh, add the population value to our uh, tree map. How can we do that is by adding this uh, particular statement which says a uh, fig data zero text info equal to. So here I've mentioned three things. Uh, one is a label text and value. So uh, we have text and value mentioned here. Uh, so our value would be this which is the population that we are uh, plotting. Okay. So once I add this value attribute here. So as you can see here now. Okay, that earlier we weren't seeing this 27, but now we can see this 27, 15, 20 as well. Uh, going ahead, uh, let us add a chart title to our tree map. We can do that by uh, simply adding this attribute called update layout, and then we can mention our chart title here and mention the position of our header over here. And once we execute it, uh, here our chart title has been mentioned at the center. Now what I'll do is I can uh, add uh, like I, if I want to have specific uh, colors of my choosing. So what what I can do is I can mention this attribute for color equal to section and then uh, I mention the color discrete map where I need to mention specifically that for which section what color do I want. So Once I mention these two things and then I uh, execute the chunk of code. So this is my uh, uh, my chart that is has been created. So what one final thing I'll do is I'll change the theme of my chart. I can do that by simply adding this statement, which is uh, template equal to uh, which template you want to mention. For example, here I've mentioned the template is plotly white, which I found to be the most suitable uh, given the data that we had. So I'll just keep it as plotly white and then I'll uh, execute my code. So here, here is how our final uh, tree map has been created. And I'll just like to remind you of this feature where we can click on a particular section and then we can see the distribution of uh, the values across those sections. Uh, so thank you everyone for watching.